it is finally here. Final Cut Pro version 10.6.6. Let's go to the App Store and read what's new. Um, it works for Final Cut Pro for iPad. You know, kind of guess that that would happen. This is big. Use automatic color management. Easily edit HDR and SDR clips in the same project. I've been waiting for this. Ever since Apple introduced like HDR footage in the iPhone and you want to record that and you know, get the highest dynamic range in the iPhone and it just sucks because Final Cut Pro would not be able to work with it very well. Uh, but now they finally improved it. We finally have some new titles, effects, transitions, and generators. And this has been 12 years in the making. I'm just so glad it's here now. There's a new color adjustments effect. So, and I'll show you what that is right now. Basically, it's just more of a simple way of adjusting uh, the color of your footage. This is another fix that I'm glad Apple made. They finally have HDR titles because whenever I applied a title in Final Cut Pro 10.6.5, it would just be gray. We would have to use HDR tool. Uh, so then there's that and then new color adjustments and then we got new effects. Um, so I'm just, this is just, you know, you know, looking at the surface of it, but um, oh yeah, yeah, these are pretty, these are pretty cool. But the only bad thing about this update is that it does break some plugins and I think the Motion V effects has, uh, made some warnings about it saying that hey yeah our plugins are broken so what can you do i think it's because final cut pro or apple removed fx plug 3.0 support but uh anyway i'm just trying to make a quick video before i head out to work and just show you guys what is new and uh, hopefully i can get to editing some more videos for you guys and uh and then uh put out some some more content thank you for watching and uh goodbye